Hello, I'm Anthony Chadwick, founder of Pet Webinars, and today I'm going to talk to you about canine demodicosis. You're probably looking at this video maybe because your pet has been diagnosed with that disease, and just to briefly talk you through some of the ideas and thoughts behind how we can treat this better. With canine demodicosis, either the pet is quite a young pet, so before its first year of life has finished, or it is an older dog. Now, we call that juvenile onset demodicosis or adult onset demodicosis. Juvenile onset demodicosis is, I think, eminently treatable, although it is a difficult disease to treat and it can be an expensive disease to treat. But if you follow your vet's instructions, there is a very good chance of a cure. With adult onset demodicosis, there is usually an underlying cause, cause to the mites that we have to also discover before we can clear the problem. This might be an hormonal problem, it might be because the dog has an allergy, it may even unfortunately be because the dog has cancer. So we need to diagnose what the underlying problem is if we are going to have success treating the adult onset demodicosis. Many treatments that are available out there, but my message would be that we need to treat long and hard. Juvenile onset demodicosis in my hands always takes at least three months to treat, be it with washers, um, oral um, fluids or tablets. So it is a challenging disease. If you feel that you're not making progress with it, then it may be worth considering going to see a veterinary dermatologist as a referral uh, to get to the bottom of the problem. But um, if you do have a dog with Demodex, I do wish you all the best at treating it. And I hope that this small video has been useful for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.